All right, here we are. It's uh, very lush here. A L- lot of plants. Here we are at Executor Island. I heard this place used to be a trial site, although that was a long time ago now. You go on. Good luck to you both. Let's go find that flute, right? Trainers really can go anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. So this place used to be a trial site. That is really cool. Just like um, Ten Carat Hill. At least that's my theory. Okay, so this place isn't too big. Um, very small place. We won't be here for very long. I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. That's what it looks like to me when I see you. When I see you, Cottonmouth, and Hapu and How too. A wild palm tree appeared. No, I'm kidding. It's the Alolan Exeggutor. The one that's so ridiculously tall. It is a grass dragon type. I think the only one of two grass dragons. The other being Mega Sceptile. So acrobatics. Destroyed. Timber! It just crashes to the ground and shakes the whole island on impact. That's how massive they are. That was an Exeggutor, wasn't it? I think the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I'd prefer. Alright, so nothing else really to do here on this island. Um, any items, maybe? Let's, uh, let's see what Stoutland says. Items anywhere? Nothing. That's a first for me. Wow, that was fast. The clouds just appeared in the sky. Wow. I've heard about climate change, but that's ridiculous. Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking out at the rain like this reminds me of this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie, this man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain, and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled, and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching cold. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept waking her again and again, just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed, and all she could think about was the Ultra Beasts, and Null and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much, and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Cottonmouth? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time, you show me what it's, po- it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked, and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aether Paradise, 
All I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Um, Cottonmouth? What are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Um, at this point, I do know what I want to do, but I like to imagine that, that at this point he doesn't, my character doesn't know what he's going to do. So I'll just answer that. Oh, thank goodness. It's such a relief to know that even someone like you feels unsure at times, Cottonmouth. And it was the right response, because, see, I soothed her fears. I think I'd like to become a trainer, too, and travel together with you, Cottonmouth. At this point, the romantic music would start playing. Th this little moment, this this tiny bit of character development and bonding, it's it's so cute. Maybe there really are good omens sometimes. Oh, dang it, I forgot to do the voice. Oh well. As my high school chemistry teacher used to say, Po Buddy's nerfect. And yes, that was intentional, by the way. That, that's the whole point. Item, it's a prism scale. And I don't think there's really anything else to do here. So, you know, just head right to the flute. You know, you, you know like, why not? There's no items as far as I can tell. Nothing but lots of shrubs and stuff. So, there we go. Cottonmouth. There it is. That's the moon flute. You can tell because it's got this. It's the same symbol as the game. I will indeed take the flute. I didn't come all the way here to not grab the flute. Now we have both the sun flute and the moon flute. I don't know if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have sounded the flutes in offering like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me, Cottonmouth. Let's go meet the Chief of the Sea Folk and get back to Pony Island. Look at you, Tralgor. You going to the altar to play the flutes? The altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. That path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Hapu that you're off before you go? And look at Pelipper, wishing us well. Even though it's a complete stranger, and we haven't really interacted at all. So just uh, checking my recording time. I've got about three quarters of an hour left. We can uh, head all the way through Vast Pony Canyon. I think we can do it. All right, back to Hapu's place. There we are, and according to the map, we have to go up this way, because here lies the canyon, and oh no. Look who's back. The numbskulls. You're from Team Skull. What is it that you want from us? Here they come. I heard about you numbskulls at Aether. Do you really know a way to save our boy Guzma? We can make you talk, even if we have to, even if we have to cut you to the bone. All right. Well, I guess we can't fault them for this because it seems that they just want their boy back. Their boy Guzma. They they really care about each other in Team Skull. I mean, they're a bunch of 
idiots that happen to be criminals, but they care about each other, and that that's a significantly redeeming quality. You, I mean, not a lot of bad guys can say as much. Not a lot of bad guys can say that they care about each other. Sorry, Team Skull, but you're just in our way. Even my heart hurts. Okay, so you cut me to the bone. Ouch. Oh, we're being spied on, it seems. Doesn't matter. We'll come after you with all our Pokemon at once then, little home slice. We'll give 200% to give save our boy Guzma. It would have been awesome if this had been a horde battle, like in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, when the Team Magma or Team Aqua Grunts just gang up on you. But no, it's literally just the five Grunts pooling their Pokemon into one battle. Okay, up, ne up first is Salandit. Not going to be trouble. Because I've got acrobatics. Wrecked. Sorry, Salandit. But you can't evolve. Marini. That might actually cause some issues. So, Thunderclap, you're coming in next. Then it's back to legs. You know what's coming. I'm gonna put on a song and dance for you. It's so good it it straight up kills you. The art of music, everybody. Or technically it's the art of choreography. Radicate. Um, Nuru actually. We'll let Nuru handle this one. Because, you know, Dark type. Weak to Fairy and Bug. I'm going to chase away your shadows with my dazzling gleam. Oh, right. Was not expecting that. And he kills himself. I approve. Level up for good old Thunderclap, as well as Plague and Smidvarg. Fantastic. Golbat. Great. I don't really have a Golbat counter except for Thunderclap, so it's back to Thunderclap then. You know what's coming next. My zappy dance. That's essentially what it is. It's a dance that happens to be an electric type. It's electrifying. How good Thunderclap's moves are. Haunter. We can bring Legs back in. Legs is just the greatest. And acrobatics. Okay, first it's she's gonna take a shadow ball. Oh, and it survived, okay. Drop kick then. And that's Team Skull. They tried to make a uh, final stand, but it didn't go so well. Our 200% is like, what percentage of your strength? Barely even 
I'm sorry, but it's true. I'm not giving up. Even though you beat me, I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> and they dance off, moving and grooving, as Team Skull do. You, girly. Lily, right? You really ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. President, my mother is... she's selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether it is wanted or not. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. And I think I can save Guzma as well. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the President. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you of the same strength in your convictions. Bring Guzma back if you can. I know you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done if they're gone. And you, Cottonmouth. Looks like you were special after all. You didn't just stand up to Team Skull. You even took on the darkness inside Aether. Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of our little princess there. This is my way of sorry saying sorry, okay? Take it. It's Poisonium Z. Hey. Oh yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, Cottonmouth? You'd better take care of it. That's one special Z ring you've got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. Well, wow. Plumeria redeemed. She is an awesome character. I really like Plumeria. She seems like the voice of reason inside Team Skull. Um, a down-to-earth, no-nonsense kind of person inside of a team largely build up build up of idiots. And Lily is going to heal her team because that's just the kind of sweet, caring person she is. And up ahead is Vast Pony Canyon. We're going to conquer as much of this as possible before, um, before I have to call it quits. So, alright. I'm just going to switch Pokemon real quickly. Um... How about Plague in front? And I'm just going to peek around for items. Don't see much, and Rotom apparently is a big fan of Team Skull. I thought you were a fan of Aether. Oh, I suppose he would have been turned off Aether Foundation girls ever since we invaded the Foundation and found out they weren't as nice as they seemed. <laughs> Sorry, Aether. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Or, you know, I, I don't know. Vast Pony Canyon awaits. 